Ashley from Disability Action Center Northwest is our announcer. Sometimes caring for our own mental health can be overwhelming. However, we at Disability Action Center Northwest have put together the basics for a mental health toolkit. By creating your own personalized toolkit, you can bypass barriers and be in control of your own care. A red toolbox drops into a construction scene with lots of bare wooden trusses. The box opens and the title, Episode 1, Self-Care, pops out of the box. Self-care is often marketed to us and can seem like something that only the rich can afford. But there are simple tools you can use to care for yourself when things seem to be going out of control. One of the easiest and quickest strategies for coping with a challenging time is redirecting. A woman is harvesting chives with beautiful purple flowers from a garden. Let's look at some ways our peers help improve or maintain their mental health. Breathing exercises. Mindful breathing starts by taking a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Concentrate how your chest feels while you breathe. You can find apps on your phone to help with this. A young woman is sitting at a table using an app on her phone to guide her breathing. A ball on the phone grows large as she breathes in and smaller as she breathes out. Spending time with loved ones. It's important not to isolate yourself. Two women are having coffee and visiting. If you can't get together with someone in person, the COVID crisis has proven that online communities can be an excellent social outlet. A young woman is using the FaceTime app on her phone to talk with a cheerful man. Physical activities. Get outdoors and breathe fresh air, or take a walk. Whatever works for you. A young woman is walking through a neighborhood, enjoying her surroundings. Indoors, you can put on some music and dance. A young woman starts music playing on her phone and dances in her bedroom. Cleaning can be a physical activity that is also productive. A young woman is vacuuming her living room. Pick one thing to deep clean. Your bathroom, refrigerator, closet, or even the junk drawer. A young man is sitting at a table sorting through a junk drawer. Whatever activity you choose, throw yourself into it. A woman with garden gloves moves soil and plants vegetable starts in her garden. Light some scented candles. A candle is flickering. Then sit and relax. A young woman is sitting on the floor and lifts a lighted candle closer to enjoy the scent. Concentrate on that beautiful scent. If you have pets, take the time to give them some extra special attention. A young woman is playing with her two cats, teasing them with cat toys. Take them for a walk. A woman throws a ball for her border collie to fetch. The border collie runs after the ball eagerly. Or give them a good brushing. A young man brushes his labradoodle. Spend time on a favorite hobby. Or try something new. A young man concentrates, trying to learn to play the accordion. Crafting, woodworking, painting. A young woman is drawing in an adult coloring book. Or even playing an instrument. You don't have to be good at it. You just have to enjoy it. A young man is practicing the guitar with deep concentration. Remember that some of your self-talk can be destructive. A young woman is walking in the park very upset with herself. Try adding, this is the story of, before the destructive self-talk. It's not true. It's just a story. She takes some calming breaths then smiles. That can deaden the importance of it and help you get past it. These are just a few ideas for coping with difficult times. Try some of these or come up with some new ideas of your own. 